Does she not look stunning? Yes, yes she does. <laughs> Welcome. Thomas and Taylor have brought us together here before God and family for an occasion of great joy and a cause for great celebration. You guys met unexpectedly. You could say potentially the odds were stacked against you. Yet time and chance prevailed and you did meet. And here we are today. Thomas was back on holiday break from Fort Lewis where he was and still is stationed. Taylor, having just moved to the Salem area and they unexpectedly met. Their paths had just barely crossed and could have easily been missed. But the night they met, they connected on a level like neither had ever experienced before. And it looks like they're still connecting. <laughs> that was the night they knew, despite the distance, this was something special. This was something attainable, and this was worth the pursuit for both of them. Having found each other, they have built the kind of relationship that will serve them well as the foundation for their marriage. They have chosen each one of you to be here with them to witness their wedding vows as they join together as husband and his wife. Marriage is a bold step in an unknown future. It is risking who we are for the sake of who we can be. In marriage, two lives are intimately shared and the blending of the two must not diminish either one. Rather, it should enhance the individuality of each partner. Each of us knows that a marriage is not truly created by a law or by a ceremony. It's what you choose to do with it. It is who you are and who you choose to become. Rather, it occurs in the hearts of two human beings committed. It grows from a loving, caring, and sharing together with one another. This ceremony is not magic. There's no rite or ritual that I'm gonna perform here that makes it happen. These two and you are who make this marriage happen. It will not create a relationship that does not already exist and has not already been celebrated in all the commitments both Thomas and Taylor have made to each other, both large and small, in the days since they first met and recognized this connection that they have for one another. So in witnessing this ceremony today, we are observing an outward sign of an inward union that already exists between Thomas and Taylor. This ceremony is a symbol of how far they have come together and a symbol of the promise that they will make to each other to continue to live their lives together and to love each other solely and above all others. There are only two official witnesses at a wedding but each and every person, every single one of you here today, will witness the words that they will speak to one another and the vows that they have committed to make. You should take good care to remember and to remind yourself these, of these words. For a marriage needs the help of a community, it needs the help of friends, and it needs the help of family that will support Thomas and Taylor in their up times and will support them in their down times and be there for them and the new family that they create today. May you always do all within your power to support the union that will be made here today and to nurture the bond between these two people whom you all love. A successful marriage is not something that just happens. It takes work, it takes patience, and it takes time. You got to be willing to give it the time. <laughs> it, take, it takes a commitment from both of you. A commitment to do whatever it takes to make your relationship thrive and not just simply survive. 
Do you, Thomas, take Taylor to be your wife, to cherish in friendship and love today, tomorrow, and as long as you both shall live, to trust her, to honor her, to love her faithfully through the best and through the worst, whatever may come, and if you should ever doubt, to remember your love for each other and the reason you come together with her this day? I do. A good, strong I do. That's a good sign. <laughs> Taylor, do you, Taylor, take Thomas to be your husband, to cherish him in friendship and love today? tomorrow and as long as you both shall live, to trust him and honor him, to love him faithfully through the best and the worst, whatever may come. And if you ever should doubt, to remember your love for each other and the reason you came together with him this day. I do. All right. <laughs> you wanna get your wedding ring out? Your wedding ring is the outward and visible sign of the inward and invisible bond which already, already unites your two hearts in love. Thomas, place the ring on your bride Taylor's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. My love is also forever. My love is Taylor, place the ring on Thomas's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. My love is also forever. My love is also forever. May the wedding rings you exchange today remind you always that you are surrounded by enduring love. Thomas, Taylor, no one but you, by design, by commitment and steadfastness, by faithfulness day in and day out, by strengthening each other, your marriage, no one else can make this happen but you too. We can all support you, we can give you everything, but it is up to Thomas and it is up to Taylor to make this thing thrive. You have begun it here today, bowing before your family and your friends, and you will continue each day of your marriage hereafter. You guys have probably kissed many times, but today this feeling is going to be new. No longer simply partners and best friends, you will become husband and wife. We are all here to help you celebrate your first moments as Mr. and Mrs. In this moment, may you share your first kiss as newlywed, Mr. and Mrs. Trattner. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Trattner. <laughs> 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 <laughs>